What is the meaning of what? Keramat and Salamat. Keramat and Salamat. What is he saying? Do you know? Huh? You can guess. So many times I have to guess what they're asking. When people come in, oh, blah, 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 so much, and I have to. Okay, you mean this, right? Yeah, okay. And then I have to take. <laughs> Even if they don't mean it sometimes. So, salamlik and haramlik, I think the question is. What is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is in a house or in a household, there are. There is a place there that is for men and there's a place for the women. This is especially for houses, and I'm saying household, because majority of the Muslim houses, up to recently, maybe 100, 200 years later, majority, there's still some living now like this, but majority, when they live, they live all together. Grandfather, grandmother, brothers, sisters, children, grandchildren, everyone together. And they live all together in a big compound. In India, they still have. Pakistan, they still have. So many Muslim countries, they don't. They follow Western style. We have to be separated. So they live in one whole big compound. Okay? And sometimes they have several buildings and they have a courtyard in the middle. So it's one community. Muslim families, they are big. So, it's one mini village there. I understand you grow up, the children grow up with that kind of social skills, social interactions, people, this and that. Of course, it's complicated in some ways, but it makes you to become very intelligent uh, when it's done properly. So, there are places where it is only the women that they're going. In Urdu, what you call? Start with a Z, a Z, eh? Zanana, Zanana, Hana, huh? Zanana, not banana. <laughs> Zanana, that's where the women are, and it's necessary. Why would the men want to go where the women's they're cooking, cleaning, changing the diapers and everything? Why do the men want to hang out there? Why the woman wants to do all these things where the men are? So that's a time when, because there are several generations, different kinds of women there, there also, they will talk to each other, interact, they feel free, they can uh, not just cover up all the time, even if they're mahram. They have manners too. Huh? So that's that area there. And then the salamlik, salamlik, and this is Ottoman terms, of course. Huh? How you say? In Urdu? Yeah. Mardana? Mardana is not here. <laughs> I suppose for Merdan. Mardan, okay. So, Zanana and Merdana. Salam, uh, haram, like, haram, meaning it is haram. It is forbidden area. This is also Sunnat. Yeah? Forbidden area. The men, they cannot enter. So, from households of common people up to the, where the sultans, they live. There's area for men, salamlik, and there's an area for women, haramlik. And the women there, maybe the oldest one, the sultan can enter, people of the house they can enter, but especially strangers that are coming in, visitors coming in, they know where to go. Yeah. Even when we don't live in big compounds anymore, we don't live in big houses with several generations anymore, it is still very common when Muslims, they come and they visit each other, the women will all go to one corner, men will all go to one corner. No, this is nature, this is natural. Women, even if it's a small room, they feel very happy. They just come together, they sit together. For many so this is what it means now. And during the Ottoman times, it's very specific rules that they get, very beautiful ones from the Prophet wasalam, and also from the, uh, uh, how you say, from the saints and from tariqat that will make these uh, social rules and, and norms, very beautiful. Hmm? Like everybody knows this, for example, 
even the um, the front door of the house if this is like a courtyard outside it doesn't look like much Muslims they don't really like to show off too much from the outside because it attracts bad eyes inside you may find a garden a paradise but outside it looks like just a wall so many houses they are like that the Middle East Muslim houses so outside but outside if you want to go in there's one side there's a big uh, like a, how you say to knock on the door and knocker right so and then there is a smaller one right that says what is that <laughs> so um, <laughs> that one where um, you want to alert someone let's say let's change that to like um, alarm bell today's uh, understanding right what do you call that buzzer buzzer you guess so oh, patronize me you guess so <laughs> <laughs> okay fine <laughs> knockers <laughs> so you got a big knocker and you got a little knocker so in the big one the it's supposed to be it has a different sound when you are knocking on the door it is low that means a man will already know if the man is entering there and he's going to knock on the door he's going to use that and the people inside if there are men they know boom 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 that's a man so they will send a man outside the women already know they're not going to use the big one they're going to use the small one so dung, 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 like this and then they send the woman to come if there are women there and there's a, just a big knocker that is there and the man is going then they figure something out they send a servant or the oldest one will come out and say no no it's not at home that kind of a thing so uh, this was going on this was current huh? until by force in the 1920s 1930s there's only it's not what we say maybe a hundred years ago by force I'm talking about Turkey for instance in other parts of the world this is still it's not the majority maybe but it is still happening and it's still important people can become more free that time the men can become more free with them with the men women can become more free with the women okay that's how it is okay